Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to Brandon Smooth, Brandon Smooth TV. I'm back at you with another review. Um, we're continuing the Wanda Vision uh, series on Disney Plus. Um, and I think since they chopped it up, you know, doing the first two episodes and releasing them together, I'm just going to review them two at a time. So this is the episode three and four review. I'm not going to lie to y'all, YouTube. I fell asleep watching these episodes. I fell asleep watching episode three and four at different times. And... I, you know, I know that it's going to lead into Doctor Strange's movie um, that's coming out. When the Doctor Strange movie comes out, what is it called? Um, I forgot what it's called. Universe of Madness. The Multiverse of Madness. Something like that. Um, her story is going to tie in to his. To be honest... And if everybody want to keep it 100, you know, Vision, the character Vision, his biggest moment to shine was in uh, the Avengers Age of Ultron. You know, where he fought Ultron at the end and he was super powerful. And, you know, where they were able to use, you know, uh, the Soul Stone to bring the life, whatever stone it was, one of the Infinity Stones. And that was his moment to shine. But Vision is a boring character. Wanda is becoming a boring character to me. I'm going to review this whole series and... Okay, let's just talk about episode three. Episode three, they went to the 70s and it became in color. So it was no longer like the, you know, 1950s type vibe, you know, or style of show. Um, definitely, like I'm going to keep saying, the Truman Show, as far as, you know, them living in some type of bubble or some type of fake world where they don't know what's going on and they have to escape. Um, so episode three, they have babies. You know, she gets pregnant out of nowhere. Um, goes through the first, second, and third trimester of her pregnancy. Boom, 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 boom. And has the baby all within like, it seemed like a day or two. Maybe a day. You know, that's not unexpected because she's a mutant. You know, she has power. So, you know, he's a goddamn android. Um, but I, 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 I know the story. They're telling it out of order for a reason. And it's like with me, I don't care. Does that make sense? I don't care because telling the story out of order like this or just having random super things like that happen fast and we're not even invested in the characters like that is weird. Y'all have to remember in Infinity War, yeah, they had been around each other a couple years, but Wanda and uh, Vision was just kind of, you know, still getting to know each other. They were dating. You know, they were living together in Europe, you know, so that's the next step couples take. So I don't know how many years have passed, but... Even in their relationship, to me, they haven't established enough to just throw in twins. Throw in two kids, just throw in and get her pregnant super fast. Now, the part about episode three I liked is, you know, they are starting to kind of break through uh, the fourth wall. And they can kind of tell, like, what's going on. And people are slipping up saying things, you know. I like uh, Geraldine's character. She had, um, it was the black lady with the afro. Uh, also, she was the black lady in the first two episodes that had been fair befriended her, you know, at the little ladies' luncheon. But she had said, you know, your bro she had mentioned her brother because she said she had twins after she helped her deliver the baby. And she said something to the effect of uh, your brother kill was killed by Ultron. Now it's starting to get a little more interesting. I'm like, okay. And then the next thing you know, she just is out of this fictitious world and she just goes into the real world, you know. Um, and in episode four, we kind of see what happens Wanda basically kind of figured out who she was and she wasn't who she's supposed to be. So she hit her with a blast of the, you know, chaos magic, you know. And I guess she sent her back to the real world. So now the show in episode four it goes into like the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. territory. If anybody's watched the Marvel show Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. on, you know, on ABC, they know either either you like it or you don't. And it's going to be messed up for me because I haven't watched all the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So it might be a good show. But from what I watched, I didn't like it. And I don't watch what I don't like. But I gave it a chance. Especially if it's some superhero stuff. You know, I'm, I'm down. Ten toes. But some shows I just don't like. So 
It's entering the Agent of Shields territory. I do see they're bringing in characters from the Thor universe, the little you know geeky nerd girl that you know uh, with the with the with the jokes. They brought her in, and they're tying in different people. Maybe it is some people from Agent of Shields uh, in this show. I haven't watched it. So episodes three and four are okay, but to me, this is what it is. To me, good shows by episode three or four, or even by five, because, you know, a lot of these seasons are 10, sometimes 20 episodes. But by episode four or five, I should be so invested in these characters that I'm sitting on the edge of my seat and I can't wait to watch it. And being tired or uninterested is not going to stop you from watching your show. If you do fall asleep, you're going to get up and turn it right back on. So, that's my review for episode 3 and 4. Just really my opinion, because it's not really a review. Um, obviously, stories that I'm invested in, I talk about a lot more. I go into the characters, but it's just all flim flam. Like, <laughs> WandaVision is... We're watching an alternate reality, right? Of them doing d different TV shows. We're watching a TV show. So, the TV show we're watching... The show they're portraying is whack. So how can I enjoy the show I'm watching in reality, if that makes any sense? Peace. <laughs>